Good evening. Um, first of all, just to, as, a, as, a, as an opener, I'll share with you a picture from the California trip um, that was near San Bernardino. That's a blimp um, when I went out looking for snow. But anyway, let me get back to um, let me get back to the, the issue at hand. I just want to go over the web presence that I have now and um, make a make a couple of points. I have a personal site called um, John W. Bush, after my legal name, and that has archives of all the material selected from all the material that I've had for the past 20 years or so, particularly when I shut down all the other blogs. There's lots of selected movie reviews and things that I've selected from, um, and there's probably several hundred of them. Um, so that's one, the strange history of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, for example. And um, also various, new, various news analysis or issue analysis from the many blogs I have. Many of them have been selected. You would be able to, to find that. There's also, there's also one major blog, which is on which was at one time was on the same host, but because of some security problems, I had to to start a new one on WordPress itself. And you see an example here where I've talked to, just did a review today about the Oscar nominated shorts, and then the, some of the, all the other things where I had a problem last spring. They were placed on a special archive. You'll be able to find them. Um, there's also a very small blog, a very old blog, um, just with J. Bushka rather than John W. Bushka. That is for very specialized, very personal material that is probably not of wide interest to the audience. But when I talk about very special legal issues or something, I sometimes use it. Then you have the business blog. It's not a site, the business site, which is under the Do Ask, Do Tell name. And right now, the only site that is working is the Do Ask, Do Tell dot info. And you can see that you can, um, I've got summaries of the, of, the four of the four books, well, the three Do Ask, Do Tell books and another little book called Our Fundamental Rights. And that's going to be expanded. The Do Ask, Do Tell dot com which had many, many flat files, um, and um, that has been taken down. Much, many, many of those files are on the John W. Bushka site. So, um, but the doasdotell.com, that's going to have the same content as doasdotell.info once I get the domain ma manually moved into the same place that this is in, and then just can copy the content, and we'll be back to using doasdotell.com just as for commer commercial purposes. So there's basically the commercial st stuff. And um, I do include attempting to get a movie made is commercial activity. And there's been a lot more, there's been a lot more interest in that since um, the end of 2019, well, since the end of 2019, but particularly this year, since the pitch fest in, in April in New York City. And then, of course, I just got back from another one in Los Angeles. The pitch fest went very well. And I think there's a lot of interest in the basic story, you know, where the, the gays in the military narrative, um, where there's a parallel between the whole idea of privacy in a dorm back in 1961 and then privacy in the barracks and the military Going, and then the whole issue of the way I talk about the draft and about conscription and personal independence, some of the other issues. There's, I think there's a lot of interest in seeing a film like that now based on the feedback. So that's what I'm working, putting a lot of effort into. Um, so I just use, I right now I use only my legal name, John W. Bushka, and then the Do Ask, Do Tell you know, for the legal name for personal sites, although you can you can get 
order in, you can or you can link to sort sites that order books from either the personal site or from the commercial site. For example, we'll just um, we'll just go back to the commercial site and for example, you can um, go to um, Amazon, for example, and you, it'll come up and everything. And you can the easiest place to order is from Amazon. And the Kindle, by the way, is very inexpensive. It's only three ninety nine a copy, so that's something you can that is you know is very inexpensive and in compared to the printed copies that you can try if you like. Um, but I, I, the nickname Bill, which was a pseudonym, is still used with the books. I'm not using it for website domain names anymore. And I'm not going to get into why that is right now. But ba basically back in 2019, I decided that I had to simplify my presence and be much more um, careful about the way I use domain names and names of blogs and names of names of video channels. I do have I, I do have one video channel, and that's actually in the name of Jay Bushka, so I'll bring that up and just show you. And, well, it's your, um, God, it's hard to, there it is. It's hard to get it to respond right now. There's my the way uh, video you channel like and, you're you send, and uh, it, it's playing get you what my you lecture want, from what Hamlin you need, University what you back in 1998. It's a social media. Really really so that's, and, and you can also see that I have shorts and everything. That's really the issue. And as you know, as you notice when you go into video, it just happened. It will it will flash the last thing you were looking at. It did that with a friend's site at the bottom, but that's I encourage you to look at Dr. Carlin's sites. It's very her stuff is very interesting. But anyway, that's what I wanted you to to be. I wanted you to be aware of um, exactly where I am with respect to my sites. The material, the doasdotell.com right now is not reachable, but it will be, the, the domain name will be copied to the right place, and the content will, that is on doasdotell.info will also be on doasdotell.com sometime this month, and um, that will be the way we go forward, and thank you very much.